Welcome to the first Retro Combs Fast Load, a video designed to be short, with intros that are short, content that is short, so that you can get on with your retro computing hobby. Quickly, what is Direct Remaster? Direct Remaster is a piece of modern software that lets you create, edit, and view disk images like D64, D81 images on a modern computer. And as you all know, I like to take a modern spin on retro computing, so this software is a must. So make sure you watch. At the end of the video, I'll come back and we'll do a quick follow-up. All right, this is the Retro Combs desktop, and we're going to load up the terminal. There's a bunch of terminal commands for this video, so you'll find everything you need in the companion blog post linked in the video description below. For my distribution of Linux, I'll be using Pac-Man, which seems appropriate given this is a Retro Combs video. And you'll see what I've done first is I've updated just to make sure there aren't any leftover remnants of uh, some old software laying around. And now we're going to load some software again using the Pac-Man Manager, Application Manager. We need to load Wine, Wine Mono, Wine Gecko, which are both supporting applications, and then this software, which is really the secret sauce, Play on Linux. It'll help us easily configure Wine with Directory Master software. We'll go ahead and proceed with the installation. Next thing we want to do is we need to download Directory Master. So this is on the style64.org website. We'll pull that up. Here we are on the style64.org and here's Directory Master. And now I wanna show you a few things really like this company or this developer. They're really doing some fun things in the Commodore retro computing space. So I encourage you to go take a look at that. But for this video, we need to download Directory Master, latest version being 3.1.5. It is downloaded as a zip file, as you'll see, we'll save that. Once it's downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up in our file manager. And it is a zipped application. So we're going to extract that. We'll dive in here and you'll see we'll have uh, this directory master setup.exe file, which is very strange to see on a Linux box. You'll see I've loaded the Play on Linux software. Now we're going to go through the install process. It's pretty quick. You install a non listed program because it is not included in the Play on support or Wine listings of compatible software. We're going to create a Commodore image to contain the directory master software calling it Commodore because that's just fun. And we're going to use a 64-bit Windows application since I'm on a 64-bit machine. Wine will configure itself. And this obviously takes longer than what you're seeing on the screen. I've sped up the video. So now let's go ahead and select our software to install. We'll dive into the directory and there's that setup.exe file we need. Go ahead and next. We'll use most of the defaults here. Make sure you do not create a desktop shortcut. Here's our default settings. Turn off Launch Directory Master, we'll do that later. And we want to create a desktop shortcut, so we're going to create Directory Master, call it Directory Master, pulls that from the setup installation file. We don't want another one, so we'll say don't want another shortcut, we'll click Next, and you'll see Directory Master shows up in our Play on Linux and our desktop. We'll double click to start that, it's pretty quick, I did speed this up. I'm going to open up my Commodore Plus 4 user's manual disk image that I'm creating. Be sure and check that out in the show notes below. You'll notice that we can bring up a BAM on the disk. And there's also some more tools. Now, I'm not covering everything that this software can do. But it can create a new disk image for you if you want to use that with Vice. Or you can transfer it over to an SD card and run it using one of your SD to IEC devices. And that's Directory Master loaded up and running on a Linux computer. Now, I want to show you one other thing. You can create a menu application shortcut if you need to do that. Um, it did it for me automatically by default, but if you need all the information, go to the properties for the icon on your desktop and you'll find everything you need, including the launcher information. And then you can just use your Linux distros menuing system to create your own menu item. And you'll see Directory Master is here. Let me show you where that Commodore came into play. Here's that disk image that we called, or the virtual drive as we call it, called Commodore. If we ever included any more, Commodore 64 Windows applications related, we can put it on that same drive. And that is Directory Master on Linux. 
All right, if you're a Linux user, I hope you found that useful. If you did find it useful, hey, go down there below and get all that stuff down in the bottom. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, so that you won't miss the next fast load. If you'd like to see more on how to use Direct Remaster, leave those comments below, but it's gonna take you pushing me to do that video because I'm not just gonna do it because I want to. I'm gonna do it because you want to. So that concludes this first Retro Combs fast load. I hope you enjoyed. Retro Combs, out.